Sagittarius, how's it going? Okay, so uh, we're still in Leo season, so you're still in your summer. Um, you will have um, changes coming your way, and that could well be part of those whole messages. You've got the overall energy here, which is the Eight of Wands. Uh, so it's a message week, and a lot of people have been getting this sort of type of energy where it's uh, some people have been told to sort of like stop and don't really do anything and just observe. Uh, what's going on in order to see things clearly. Other people is to sort of keep clear on your path. And it's all to do, it's it's gathering of information. So this is what could well be for you this week. It's uh, uh, a gathering of information, taking on everything and uh, receiving those messages, uh, not just from the universe, but from life itself, from your neighbours, your friends, your family, and etc. Uh, and then how are you going to apply those messages within your life? And I think that will pan out over the next three months uh, going through your winter period. OK, so um, this is the Astro Flower. Welcome to it. If you're part of the Astro Flower family, I do thank you for your support of this channel. It's much appreciated. For those who want to support this channel, it's very easy to do. You just need to subscribe and click that bell. Apparently, it's really important. OK, uh, so this is the Astro Flower. This is going to be the relationship and the uh, emotional side of life. This is your money side of life. This is the overall energy that's going through. Let's just see what's going on on the karmic messages for you this week. It's like London buses. I don't know if you've ever been to London. When we grew up, you know, you'd be waiting for a bus for ages and then three of them would turn up at the same time. <laughs> and this is, it seems like here, so within the relationship side, uh, you might have been wishing for um, closer relationships with your family, friends, your community, your partner or finding a partner. And it seems like all the things are coming, uh, all the buses are coming at once. So uh, then it seems like there's going to be a lot of activity going on for you. Uh, with the seven of wands, so already look at this, you've got seven of wands feeding into the eight of wands. It's knowing your position, knowing what you want, feeling secure within yourself. So maybe that is the message, the main message for you this week in the relationship side. Feeling secure in yourself and what you really want to do and what you enjoy. Um, and, and, and if you rest or if you stay within that, that's what's going to give you the good results. Uh, within your relationships and it may it will probably make things a lot easier for you let's see how the universe is trying to influence that karmic message uh, fun 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 till my daddy took the tea bed away it's it's it, the universe giveth everything and the universe taketh everything. That's the sort of thing. And it's and it's finding our place within that whole motion of life, of the coming and going, waxing and waning of the world or the universe itself. And as the universe, you know, uh, comes to its fullness within your life, uh, there'll be abundance around you. Uh, and then other times it's a case of enjoying what has been abundant what we've succeeded with in our life. So uh, here, the, the universe here is sort of saying, uh, enjoy the moment, enjoy and uh, uh, sort of engage with the universe around you. Uh, and But there is a lot of things going on. There's a lot of opportunity and a lot of possibilities. And the universe here is, okay, so you've got the hangman. So maybe it's a case of where the universe is trying to sort of say, there's lots of stars out there in the universe. But if you stay still, one will wink at you and then just follow one to the other. And it's, okay, there's a lot maybe going on within the relationship world for you at the moment. Uh, but actually doing one at a time uh, will be better. So maybe spending the weekend with your family. So then... Uh, and then the week with your partner um, and then maybe uh, during the week going out for a drink with your friends or spending an evening with your friends. Uh, that sort of thing. It's, it's really chopping it up and categorizing things. Let's just see how the um, guides are trying to influence that karmic message. They seem to be like one of the ones that are holding you up in the seven of wands. 
they're, they're, they're being very supportive and because uh, they know you've got a lot on your plate emotionally at the moment. And they're trying to help you sort of, um, yeah, uh, weather the storm of, of maybe too many opportunities or too many things going on. And sometimes when there's too many things going on, it's difficult to make choices. And it's better to clear out the clutter. And that's how you guys are trying to help you. You know, that tower, as I said, it's like they're sort of one of those ones trying to help you up. That's what the tower is. It's the tower is your guides. And some towers have to come and some towers have to go in order for, you know, uh, to, in order for you to have some space within those relationships. And I think if you concentrate on one thing at a time um, and see things a little bit differently, you'll see the connections within your relationship. So you'll see the connections within your family and your partner or your, your in, within your couple. Um, and you'll, and, and you'll realise that actually you don't have to work on everything at the same time. You don't have to be there for everybody. Because uh, let's just say, uh, you, you know, uh, your, your partner says, let's have, let's have a Let's have a barbecue and they say yeah great okay well in that case let's invite our friends so that's it's almost done two things within within one as it were so it's clearing away uh one uh some of the aspects the organizations of relationships in order for you to get the best out of it and i think this is where the guides are trying to sort of help you here by sort of supporting you in a way that you've got a lot on your plate but actually at the same time uh, you know, sort of um, sifting between what, you know, you're capable of taking on and what should be just left to flow past. Okay. Um, let's just see how the guys are trying to influence that conversation that is within you. Love, love, love. So, yeah, it's it, enjoy. You know, this is your summer still, and summer should be really enjoyed. If we could bottle it, we would do, but usually we're too busy in enjoying it. And when we turn around to bottle it, it's already gone. So, yeah, enjoying that moment, basically. Enjoying that situation. Uh, finding that balance and harmony. And I think that's where the, you know, the calming voices or the calming advice that you're giving yourself, I would be, listen to it. And allow this, these are all mechanical sort of stuff that are going on under the surface. You know, the tower moment is really out of your control. It's going to fall whether you like it or not. Um, but it's going to create lots of space and opportunities for you. And uh, that could be that tower moment, could be that wand there that is actually trying to burst your bubble. And just seeing things in a different way. And once you do that, you'll be in a calm position where you'll be able to understand the messages coming through for the everything that is around you let's just have a look what's going on in your money side of things so the karmic message on this side i'm not sure if i spoke to you about this it's, but it is about networking this week um sorting things out for the future so within your job within your business or your projects it's a case of connecting with people and situations that may not actually give you the victory straight away but they're going to you know, provide you with the essence of your of your success of tomorrow. Playing smart. Okay, so that's what it is. Uh, yeah, it's playing smart in accordance to um, your job and your business. And it's this is that whole listening aspect, I think, that's coming through here, uh, which most signs have been getting as well. And it's a case of realising what situations are going to give you the best. And it doesn't necessarily mean the most amount of money, because... You could have a part of your job, your business or your project where you sort of uh, get, got an opportunity. And yeah, you may not make the most amount of money of it, but you're going to meet lots of people who you could do uh, work with in the future. There's certainly a card there that's upside down somewhere along the way. Um, so, you know, with the future. And I think this is probably good in that whole sort of like playing smart. Let's just see how the universe is trying to influence that karmic message. I think they're trying to help you with the emotional side of life and trying uh, in within within our business projects and uh, job. I think they're trying to cut out some emotions in your life. Yeah, because this is the thing. If you're not, you know, that that uh, magician there, 
he is in meditation basically and um, if you want to man manifest things in your life you have to be in that meditative state in order to make the laws of attraction work and stuff like that where you can really start bringing in uh, sort of opportunities into your life let's just see how the unit um how you guys are trying to influence your karmic message every master needs an apprentice and your guide's on an equal footing to yourself. You're just the person driving the vehicle. But without the mechanics looking after the vehicle, uh, you're not going to go far. So it is a team effort and every single guide that you have has its role to play as much as you have your role to play. Um, so, uh, they're, they're, you know, the guides the guide, the here are trying to help you sort of uh, play smart uh, in a way they have got the solutions going forward for the for the future uh, and they're going to be they're going to be really sort of helping you to manifest so this apprentice thing is where the guides are actually getting the ingredients for that mm, that income incantation of the manifestation so they're getting like the, the ingredients of the potion that you're going to use in your financial and your and your money side of life in order to manifest what you want. So I would allow the ingredients of this manifestation coming into you so then you can then put it in your potions, as it were, the potion of life in your life um, the most effectively. So it's like in, if you're in a job, it's concentrating certain aspects of the job rather than trying to uh, do everything uh, in order for that job to happen. If let's say you've got an advertising campaign, you may not be, um, you're running an advertising campaign for your business or, or you work in advertising. And um, you, you, know, you don't want to, um, you may not be the person to do, uh, do the logo, do the design, do the posters or do the, the publicity shots or the filming and stuff like that. You're concentrating on the overall plan. You leave that up to uh, other people to do. So yeah, be that emperor, own your future. Uh, yeah, this is summertime. You should be making hay while the sun shines and uh, networking and playing smart and uh, you know, having belief or, or satisfaction in your self well-being and your self importance in a way. And your important part in this whole process uh, is really important. The emperor has already constructed an empire that's the thing. He now needs the emperor. Now needs to be the emperor, the 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 ruler of what they have created. And I think it's all to do with the laws of attraction this week. And there's a, a numerous amounts of possibilities by the looks of things for you. Okay, let's just see how the universe is trying to guide that. Um, or oh, on that, not the universe. The guides are trying to influence the conversation that is within you. You should be doing this, you should be doing that. They're helping you in choices, really streamlining your choices because that's what networking is all about. It's like a bee that comes towards a garden. There must be loads of flowers in that garden and it's choosing, the, you know, your guides are like sort of saying, those flowers there are loaded with pollen. Get in there. Let's get this honey made. You know, uh, that's what they're sort of doing. Uh, yeah, they're taking out the emotions of the situation. And realizing that work is work and you've got to do your work if you love you doing your work you will enjoy it but if you get too emotionally involved in um, your business side of life and your financial side of life because don't forget this is what we're talking about it's not talking about sort of separation and stuff like that this is weird what sort of doesn't work like that it works in a way that uh, is actually helping you to sort of um, put those uh, put those motions in a uh, in a good place you know um and to, to good to good um good use let's just see what's going on on the uh karmic um let's see what's going on. it's all about the karmic message apparently let's just see what's going on on the outcome the general outcome for this week every project everything needs to be nurtured 
And I think this is a case of nurturing. By the end of the week, you're gonna realize that what things are good to be nurtured. And this is where the, 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 you know, the questions that have come to you will come to fruition, where you will realize and understand things. Uh, that's what, you know, I think it's going to be, hey, was that the cut? It was that the thing that was upside down? All my pack is the right way up. And I said earlier on, there's going to be one there that's upside down. And it looks like it's came this way. So it will turn, it will invert your life into uh, some things that you might be disappointed in. It could be your relationship or your financial side of life, either side, because this is a combination between the two. And I think maybe if you look at your August readings, um, it's talk about unifying both sides. Uh, you know, uh, so within harmony, within your your spiritual, emotional side of life, within also your business or your your job and your financial side of life, and this is upside down. So it's not disappointment for me. It's almost feeding it up. It almost looks like the star card when it's upside down. So it's it's sort of like wishing big and stuff like that. I don't actually normally read upside down cards, but that because I said it earlier on. And I know all of these cards are stacked in the same way, uh, so I don't you I don't get upside down cards. Uh, here is is there's there's a reason for that, and it's sort of saying to you all your disappointments of the past can turn into beautiful sort of stars and possibilities. Okay, so uh, yeah, a real transitional week for you, I think, uh, Sagittarius. Uh, a beautiful week, really, really nice, very powerful. Uh, with lots and lots of possibilities and certainly almost like it's the whole thing is like explaining a little bit like the wheel of fortune for you the changing of fortunes within your life okay uh, so there you go uh, Sagittarius if you want to know more about the astro flower there's loads of links in the description below if you want to say uh, show your support for the, uh, this channel and our work that we're doing um, uh, it's very simple to do. You just need to subscribe and click that bell pattern. That's really good for the YouTube um, algorithm. Uh, and also, uh, you can show that support for liking this video, sharing a video, and commenting on this video. In the meantime, Sagittarius, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.